Hello YouTube, Dogfoot9 here, and welcome to another FIFA 13 player review. And today we're looking at Nathan D'Alfonso from Blackpool and his English. And let's look at his stats on his card first of all. So, he's got 90 pace, 64 shooting, 49 passing, 77 dribbling, 33 defending, which doesn't really matter because he's a striker, and 70 heading. So his key stats, as you can see, are 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, and then what's this? He, go, he goes into the 70s and even into the 60s. Well, this is one of the things we're going to be talking about today. But anyway, let's carry on. Finishing 75, ball control 76, agility 75, dribbling 78, strength 72, heading 69, and he's got a 3-star weak foot and 3-star skills moves, and his price is about... 4,987 on the PlayStation. On the Xbox, it's a bit more expensive for a change, and um, at 6,036 coins. And then on the PC, he is worth 3,908. So it seems to be like reverse order for his price today. So let's go on to some gameplay. And I'll discuss why I think he's actually quite a good player. So now we're on to the gameplay. Um, we're going to be talking about why I think he's quite an underrated player. So as you can see from stats, they aren't that great technically. But the way I seem to play him, I don't know whether it was just me or it just seems to be that he's quite underrated and his skills like match up well together and work well together. But he seems to be quite a good player, I must say. Um, for instance, it says that his agility and dribbling and strength are quite middle of the parkway. I'd say he's one of the strongest. Um, and best on the ball strikers I've ever had. It's a bit like a mix between Balotelli for strength and Eto for his dribbling, except he hasn't got them skill moves obviously, which is a bit of a minus, but it doesn't matter. Also, his price is really, really good for a silver striker. Um, obviously, he hasn't got five star weak foot, which like other strikers like Beckford has, but that's still quite cheap for a silver striker who's 71 and shiny. Um, and that shininess on a silver player seems to attract quite a few people to him. Um, so I, don't, I think that's why his price has gone up. But if these people didn't know his in game stats, I think they wouldn't buy him. But even though his in game stats aren't very good, he seems to be really good. For instance, as you can see from some of these goals, I haven't put this trait in this. Um, Stat in there, but his long shots are really quite good as well. Especially his, fin his finishing R is, is as well. His finishing is really quite good inside the box. It says only 75, but it seems for 8 out of 10, probably even 9 out of 10 um, shots go in from inside the box. But that's from any angle as well. So some of those shots from like obscure angles and acute angles and angles which you wouldn't even think were imaginable um, and, and I'm not I don't mean f um, near post um, at all I just mean like any angle in particular he seems to be getting those goals away and it seems to be quite good <laughs> he's, he's really good at doing that so I've been really enjoying him um, playing with him for that. and also his speed does really help now I must say his attacking work rate is low and that can be a bit annoying and his weak foot is really quite annoying sometimes but it's manageable but I'm still probably gonna put it down as a minus because you really want those guys to be having four or five weak foot, especially if they're um, only got um, a striker, because you want to maybe get them into good positions. So anyway, let's move over on to the overall like rating of this player. So Nathan Delfonso, I've given eight out of ten, and his pluses are his good speed, as I said about his acceleration and sprint speed, both ninety. That's absolutely brilliant for a striker. Um, he's he's really underrated, and that's really good as well because it's cheap. And by what I mean by underrated is his stats are um, like not as good as they feel, and he is quite cheap as well, so that makes him underrated. And also because of his good mix of like dribbling and strength, um, he can keep the ball quite well, and he's got good ball control as well, so that's really good as well. But one thing which does let him down, and which does drop a couple of marks on him is his work rate it can be a bit annoying to play with him when his work rate is quite low and you really want him to make a run but he just doesn't seem to want to but and another thing is his weak foot it's, it's not the biggest downfall but he is um, he would probably be better with a better weak foot so yeah if you enjoyed this video guys please leave a like if you've got a player you'd like me to review please leave them in the comment section below comment section comment comment section comment section below sorry about that that's a bit of a um, i couldn't get my words out then but if you've played it with him as well please tell me what he feels like and until next time guys please subscribe for more videos and i'll see you later bye